Hello my friend, it's Pat Sloan here on Thursday for my daily video and the topic of the day which is on the calendar. If you don't have the calendar, this link's down below and uh, get, get it downloaded so you can follow along, see what's going on. So the uh, topic is Born to Run. <laughs> was that Springsteen? Uh, <laughs> no, we're not doing, we're not doing the music. We are doing Table Runners. <laughs> So this is the table runner I have right now in my living room and I've made this table runner several times and guess what? I'm going to make another one. So Born to Run is to make a table runner really quick, really fast and we will use a charm pack and if you want to do a Christmas one, you want to do a wintry one, maybe in a blue charm pack, you want to do one for fall still, you could actually get this made by Thanksgiving because it's super quick. Now I did a lot of quilting on this one. I did a lot of bubble quilting and then straight lines in the zigzag part. Uh, I will probably not do that <laughs> for this one, but I'm going to use this super cute Santa Claus lane because it actually has colors like the red and the and uh, of course red and green for Christmas, but it's got the pops of pink. So there's like little gold trees on there and it has um, fabulous border print. Now some of these are getting hard to find. I'm gonna link you to two places I work with that you can still get. You can get the charm pack, you can get actually the, actually the fabric, but the, it has the cutest, there's like can, little candy canes. And this is I think the stripe I'm gonna get for the binding because you know, <gasps> Stripe bindings. I'm like in love with stripe bindings. I don't know. I may never do anything but stripe bindings again. I'm thinking about it. There's also a darling sort of poinsettia uh, fabric. Let me show you the little the little Santas. Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh, there's uh, the lights. Where's the little Santas? Oh, come on. Come on, they're hiding. There they are. So get him out here. I'm shedding everywhere and wearing black. Okay, so there they are, the little Santas. <gasps> get him up there. You can actually get still get yardage with that. So I think he's so cute. Comes in a couple of the colors. So I need, I need to get this. I want to make this because I want a new table runner. I don't know what I used last year. I, I have one, I think, somewhere, but you know, do I know where it is? No. So born to run. Make a table runner. And if you have a table runner you want to show off, show it off over at Quote Along with Pat Sloan, my group at Facebook. But I'm going to make one. And so I'll show you over the next uh, group of videos because this is something I can make as I just sort of do other things. Just get a bunch of the um, background squares and then I can just use them to start and finish as I chain piece so it doesn't sort of suck the fabric down in. Although. I have a good, a good baby lock machine. My uh, Solaris doesn't suck the fabric down in, but I still like doing it because right now I don't have dexterity. So I don't always get things lined up as well. So it helps me to have a start and a stop piece on the machine right now. All right, so I went ahead last night and made my setting blocks for cozy things. Look at them, don't they look great? So I did, it was too late for me to work on cutting the red snowflake strips. That was, I just didn't have the brain power. I didn't have to think. These guys were pretty much, I had to cut some of the stuff, but I got them all cut and then I made uh, all, the rest of the five of them. There's six all together, I already had the one made. So I am very happy to have those ready and I will be getting the last blocks written up. Uh, and then I will start thinking about the January, the one will start in January. Always got to think ahead for me, you know, I can't just, just do it today. <laughs> got to think ahead. So a couple people asked me about the uh, labels I use to mark my bins, the little chalk labels. It's like with a chalk pen. It's not real chalk. It's, it's a fab, it's, um, they're labels that you can use this pen that wipes away. So this is, let me see if I can get this up here. This one's heavy for some reason. So these are the labels I put on my project bin. I've got to balance that on my arm. There we go. So you can see the label. And now let me just set that down before I drop it. Okay. So they come, 
This is a small family owned business, uh, savvy and sorted. And so they make these great labels. And they come, their package comes with a bunch of them and a bunch of different sizes so that you can use them on you know, all kinds. If you have pantry containers or their sewing storage, uh, boxes in the garage, <laughs> why not? Uh, so you can make them with these. And then when you buy that, this package, uh, it comes with a pen. So when you, write, you, when you write on them, you have to shake the pen. Let me just show you. You shake the pen really good and uh, get that, get that all, you know, it's, it's got like a liquid in there. So, and then you might have to, when you start new, it tells you about it. You sort of push it down. Can you see like you have to push it so that you make it, you make it, the ink come down into the point. That's what that is doing. And then I would write on here, there. So I would have my name. And then those wipe off when you want to rewrite them and use them for something else. Now the really nice company, uh, and I wanted to get something else to work with. So they have these little chalkboard signs. And I thought I'd show those to you because they are, they are really neat. If you're doing place settings, let's open one. If you're doing place settings, um, I'm going to use it for my photography, but I just thought, you know, they were really like if you're doing a buffet and you wanted to you know when we can have buffets again <laughs> and you want to mark what all the different food is so they come each with their own little stand of course i didn't open one in advance so hold on i just thought these were really useful and since i like the labels so much i wanted to show these to you i wanted to get another variety so here you go you so you pop they're, you know, they're balsa and you just pop those and put them on the back. You know, they're really, really simple. Am I doing this right? Yeah. And then you'll have a little stand. I don't have the one in correctly. I don't have it bent correctly. So, oops, I've got it upside down somehow. Somehow I did something wrong there. Maybe it's just supposed to be one. Maybe I should read the directions. <laughs> Ah, but here you go. Then you can do the little tags and have that uh, for for your party. <laughs> I got to figure out now that little stand. I will get it. I will get it. Okay, the other thing that I'm working on is still on the cross stitch. And I made some progress and I wanted to show you something else with that. Um, so I did my uh, chubby mug is almost finished I have just to put a, a little bit different foot on it actually about the same foot actually and so I did a little greenery and started the little greenery at the bottom uh, which might have an, uh, might have some uh, design element that's just mine <laughs> and this is this is the pattern again now I for those of you who uh, use, I, I heard a lot of you talking about you using these needles. Pat's favorite needle, not me, Pat. I've never tried them. Some other Pat. Um, it's a Pat from the yarn tree. But anyways, the Fat Quarter Shop carries these and they, they were talking about it on there and I heard some of the rest of you talk about it. So I got some and it comes in uh, that package, but it also has, whoop, they do, they, like it comes in this foil and there's 25 in here. So what I did is I thought I would show you is I decided that uh, I don't I I need to put them in something. So I put them I put all those needles in the little macaroon case and they fit perfectly. Look at that. So I can put those needles in there and I might just cut off uh, some of the little detail stuff and put it in the bottom so I remember I remember what's in here. Uh, but I'm going to try those out. So that's the next needle I'm going to try out. I've been using these, which have the rounded tip at the bottom. You can see that. I really, really like these. I like these a lot. So, okay. What else do I have? <laughs> so I'm getting, I'm, I, you know, this was a, an impulse. You know, I am very impulsive. So making a jelly roll table runner is super impulsive 
originally I was just going to tell, you know, tell you, oh, just show me your table runners. But I'm like, I just want to make a new table runner. They're so fast. They're so easy. So I'm going to do it. So that's a bit impulsive. I, I also need to look at the jelly roll patterns for starting that in a couple weeks and get down which one do I really want to do and what um, approach do I want to make because I have to cut um, if I do the one that they're all side by side I didn't bring the picture up but there's one that there's like a, a row of them uh, and then you alternate it with the big half square triangles and the, but the other one I have to have strips cut not that many like you cut like 25 strips or something so i have to decide which one do i want to do that is on my list to think about um exciting fun i love starting new things i love starting new things so happy happy thursday folks <laughs> i'm so glad you're here all the links are below uh would you subscribe if you haven't done that yet and uh that way you'll know what's going on. Plus it helps me if you're a subscriber, it helps me with the YouTube uh, to get noticed by them if I have more subscribers. And heck, I wanna get that 100 subscriber. Everybody gets 100 subscribers, you get a plaque. It's like really cool. <laughs> I'm a ways from it. Oh, But we could do it, we could do it together. I have over 100,000 people. 100, yeah, not 100 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers. I have 100,000 people at over 100,000 at YouTube, 185,000. So even if half of you subscribed, I would make 100,000 here at YouTube. <laughs> so I'm on a goal now. Get everybody to subscribe. <laughs> oh, I'm so silly. Okay, I love you. <laughs> See you online.